Do you enjoy recording? Odds are you have one of these, an SM57. Today I'm going to show you a cheap, easy, and really quick way to improve the sound of this microphone by taking out the transformer. Today on... This extremely simple mod to your SM57 will lower the lows Higher, higher the highs, and generally make your mic sound a bit more like its big brother, the SM7. It will, however, lower the output about 10 decibels, so if you're planning on using it for live sound where feedback is an issue, or for really quiet sources, you might want to reconsider doing this mod. Okay? What you need, an SM57, or 58, a solder desoldering pump, optional, that's optional, two hookup wires, different colors preferably, cut to about the length of this removable XLR barrel, a small slotted screwdriver, soldering iron, and last, a pot that you're not especially fond of. Okay, let's get started. Start by unscrewing your SM57, and you'll see a green and a yellow wire. Now before we take these off, mark where each one is. So by my yellow wire, I have this red marking, and by my green wire, I have a black marking. I don't know how yours looks, some of them look different, but write this down so we can get the right polarity after we've done the mod. Okay, got that written down? Now, we're going to take our desoldering pump and remove and remove these wires. You can also just do this by heating each connection and pulling them off. Next we're going to take our slotted screwdriver and unscrew this little screw holding the XLR into the barrel and then use the connector to push it out. And push it in there. Let it do a couple pushes and then you should be able to pull it out with your fingers. And just as before with the green and yellow wires, we're going to pay attention to where the red and blue wires are. So for me, red is pin 3 and blue is pin 2, but yours may be different. So write that down before we move on. Now we are ready to do some cooking. So we have the boiling water. We put the microphone body in the water. And now we wait. Well, it softens the glue and gets it all ready for us to take out the transformer. Okay, it's about three minutes later and it looks like the glue is soft enough. So I'm gonna pull out the freshly cooked microphone, and while it's soft, I'm going to grab the leads of the transformer, pull it out from the bottom. Oh. There we go! Success! Now while the microphone barrel is drying, we're going to take our two hookup wires and solder them to the XLR connector. Now let's feed the wires through this small hole in the barrel connector.
Finally, we'll solder the barrel to the diaphragm. Look back at what you wrote down earlier, and we're going to match up the red wire that was soldered to the XLR connector to where the green wire was on the diaphragm. And we're going to put the blue wire where the yellow wire was. So that means your two wires need to correspond according to that. Now wind your microphone back together and you've got a modified SM57 that sounds a whole lot cooler, should sound a whole lot cooler on drums, vocals, I love it on bass cabinets, uh, than the original. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments or head over to DIYRecordingEquipment.com and I'll answer them there as well. Thanks and good luck!